over. Area. Anyone find the aircraft? Watch for aircraft. drones. Watch for the drones. Where, where right, break, break. This is break. This is Brian Watkins again. This is Brian Watkins again. I have to go. I want to say this. I want to repeat this. Two things. Friend me on Facebook. B R Y O N in Las Vegas. I got visual. We will repeat. I got visual on a drone right now going westbound past Whiteman Air Force Base. Right there. Brian Ranch. Repeat that. Facebook won't let some people join. Friend Brian. 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 Brian.
out man uh this is brian i'm back i my, my phone died mid conversation there uh i understand there's been utter chaos in here for the last couple minutes so i apologize for uh getting caught out my uh battery is met its max and i don't even know if that phone's going to turn on again but uh, i'm going to unmute the conversation i need y'all to behave once i turn it uh back off if you're not on mute i need you to press star six we're getting a lot of feedback a lot of people talking over each other i heard while i was gone so shame on you for not uh him courteous while I was gone. I'm going to put this conversation back on. The gentleman that was just speaking, go right ahead. Sorry if I missed anything, but uh, I'm uh, putting this conversation back on wax. Hey guys, familiar with the County, with any confirmation on the Humvees, 15 to 20 spotted uh, an hour ago. So if we need confirmation, anyone who lives in Clark County, we're going to need confirmation on those. That's the key here. Information is key. Out. Hey, Brian. Right. I'm going to say one more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm going to say that one more time. we got a lot of people on this call, and I need you guys to press star six. six and, and the operator says mute. Hit it again so that if your call is muted. Star six, mute yourself out. Star six to come back in. But you need to keep pressing it until you hear the conversation's been muted. Permission to stay clean. Uh, hang on a second, man. We got a lot of people chiming back out. Hang on a second. Almost, there's almost 400 people on this call, and another 100 of you need to mute yourself out. Uh, hold on a second and just let these people go ahead and mute you know, themselves out before really you think about it. Uh, 
That's great, bro. Hang on a second. I need a lot of people to press star six right now, or I'm going to permanently mute you out of this conversation. I can hear you, and I don't want to hear you, so I want you to press star six right now on your phone. Hang on a second. I want every last person to be muted out for a second. If you're not paying attention, just hang up. Get out of get out of my way. Press star really? six. I'm getting a lot of folks. Don't don't speak. It's, I was asking a question about the muting part. Okay, is, uh, that's just great. Press our star phone's six. Right. What? Is muting from our phone all right? My phone has mute. You can do that as well. Yes, you can do that as well. If you mute yourself out regularly on your phone or press star six. Either way, I need everybody to do that right now. All phones. And I'm saying to everybody. Yeah, we hear you, and I don't want to hear you. I want you to press star six, brother. All right, for, for you who keeps doing it, if you're on speakerphone, if you're on speakerphone and you're pressing star six, it's not probably going to work. So I'm going ahead, and I'm going to... Who would have keep on pressing it over and over and over again? Okay. Are they confiscating rifles? Yeah, they are. They, there's checkpoints. You know, everybody's headed there. You know, they are. You guys won't let anybody talk anyway. I've been on here for three and a half hours. Really? <laughs> <laughs> no shit. <laughs> I mean, etiquette. So they they are confiscating right? Yes, yeah, there's checkpoints. Uh, there's a major operation not just in Cl- around Clark County, Nevada. There's reports it- of a major operation somewhere near River uh, Red River, Texas. And there's reports of a major operation of this caliber, the scale, going on in Utah. Is, where is they're it, seizing these, know, these, a lot of mercs. These are mercs. Okay, they're not federal officials. These are Blackwater mercs. Black water confirmation. Are okay. Are there any okay. <laughs> Did you say they're Blackwater? Yeah, he said Blackwater. Hey, Brian, are you going to get information? Getting some information on that uh, the standoff in Texas by the Red River. I'm waiting on the town now. All right, quick question for anybody in Nevada: What is what is the Western transport laws in Nevada? I'm here in Nevada right now. I'm heading down for 15. But uh, the Humvees never came by me. Right, Mary. Oh, hey, I'll read the uh, Nevada laws if somebody would like. Yeah, yeah, just just general just general guidelines. What what are the laws for transporting firearms in the state of Nevada for anybody mm-hmm. okay. coming in? Here, Nevada, 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 I know what I know what the laws are. I got it. This is in Reno, and the laws are as no. There are no uh, loaded firearms or no firing from the from a moving vehicle, unless you are handicapped. No. Maybe okay. you the That's not true. If you have a concealed weapons permit in Nevada, I can bring my weapon all the time. All right. All right. Do you copy? Good. For out-of-state residents, do you have to separate the magazine from the rifle? This is Colorado uh, to stand by. Not, Nevada Brian, is a right-to-carry state. The, the law Brian. only reads, not loaded. <coughs> Rifles and shotguns cannot be chambered. However, you can have ammunition in the magazine. Yeah, it's probably fast. This is probably the start of the next revolution. What about it has to be separate right. California? Can I speak? California, go ahead. This is the moderator. Go ahead. Hey, how you doing, guys? Hey, uh, I would like to read for all you guys a Supreme Court decision in regards to illegal arrest. 
The United States Supreme Court has ruled in State v. Robinson, 145 ME, 77 72 ATL 260, and I quote, an illegal arrest is an assault and battery. The person so attempted to be restrained of his liberty has the same right to use force in defending himself as he would in repelling any other assault and battery. Now, I'm not here to advance any sort of violence. However, we all know that with the tyrannical system that is transpiring within the government system, that illegal arrests happen all the time. And this is a form of liberty and a defense for you guys to use. And any other you guys that are law students out there, I'd get away from these bullshit codes and statutes that aren't law and start looking at these Supreme Court decisions because that is something that you can use in your defense. And I'll repeat that. It's State versus Robertson, 145-ME. 7772ATL260. California, going off. I really appreciate that, California. David, in California, can I speak? Yeah. Would you like me to hear that? Did you guys hear that? Yeah, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hello, can you guys hear me? Yeah, we heard yeah. that. You gave us a lot of court decision. Where are yeah, the laws? Would you like me to read that Supreme Court decision again? I got go ahead. Why were you didn't catch it the first time? You got the floor. Hey, I wanted to read you guys the Supreme Court decision. Did you guys get that, or would you like me to repeat that? Yeah, we got it the first time. Go ahead and do it a second time. I got it. I got it, right, I got it the first time. What's going on with Clive Bundy? Yeah, we know that, ma'am. Hang on the line. In the United States Supreme Court, State versus Robinson, R O B I N S O N, comma, 145, space, N E, period, space, 77, comma, 72, space, A T L, period, 260. And I quote. An assault and battery, period. The person so attempted to be restrained of his liberty has the same right to use force in defending himself as he would in repelling any other assault and battery. Now, I am not sure if that has ever been overturned. I have the decision here, uh, so I would take that and freaking run with that. Consult legal counsel if that has ever been overturned. But that is the United States Supreme Court decision, and that is law of the land if it was ruled by the Supreme Court. Do you guys understand that? Overturned. This is P. Corbison, Esquire. I'm an attorney at law from Kansas. Can I get a designation, please, so I can confirm to that? All right, Kansas. Yeah, this is your, your turn, sir. That, has not, that law is still valid and has not been overturned. Thank you. Awesome. Uh, and somebody, the attorney in Kansas, can you interpret that and translate it in standard language, please? Hey, Brian, are you basically they can't put their hands on you, and uh, it's illegal if they do. Roger, uh, basically, that may apply to the state for which it was it was designated. So, if that law is designated for the state of Kansas, what is that, Maine? Then that means that law is only applicable to Maine. It's not a federal law; it's a state law. Whether or not the Supreme Court held it up, that's how case law works. Well, okay. I have another copy. Supreme Court. Hey, this is John from California. One more time. I have one more. Maybe the legal counsel can confirm this one. It is Colender, K-O-L-E-N-D-E-R, D. Lawson, 461 U.S. 352, year 1983. The United States Supreme Court ruled that a police officer could not arrest a citizen merely for refusing to present identification. Okay. You can sue the police for an illegal arrest and arrest with impunity. Brian? I'm still here. Hey, okay. it's me, the JAG officer. I've been trying to say some things for the past half hour, maybe 45 minutes, and I haven't been able to get through. Go ahead. Okay, are there any, any, is there anyone by the Nellie's Air Force Base in Nevada? We're about five miles from Nellie's. 
Okay, have you seen any activity in Nellie's? My understanding is that we have National Guard members there. We also have National Guard members in Louisiana are getting ready to deploy to Nevada. And I'm talking about military. Yeah, we, uh, we have National Guards over at Dallas Air Force Base. We got activity in Missouri and Washington Air Force Base. Okay, right yeah, now we've got, yeah, we birds, we've got some birds flying out of the Midwest, flying into Texas, is what I've heard. Oh, uh, they're, they're headed westbound into Kansas. Yeah, Kansas, that's correct. They're coming in from Riley. Coming out of Riley. They uh, they left uh, Lightman Air Force Base westbound, and I haven't okay. heard. I'm waiting on. I need people from Kansas to see if they're headed that way. All right, I'll just I'll, I'll just send a couple of messages to a couple of soldiers right now in Kansas and find out and try to get some confirmation on that. Um, also, Brian, I've heard some people here quoting the laws. Unless you're an attorney, do not quote the law. Laws in the state of Nevada for carrying weapons. You can carry a weapon in your vehicle if it's armed. You do not carry a weapon concealed if you don't have a concealed weapons permit in the state of Nevada. If you're traveling to the state of Nevada, make sure every state line that you cross, you're in compliance with the actual uh, carry laws or weapon laws in that state. Are you an attorney? I am an attorney, yes. Oh, okay. Hey, uh, do you guys know anyone in, in Nevada... I am trying to get down there and give them guys some water, I, but I, I don't have a ride. You can mail it. Okay, now, um, Oath Keepers is taking donations uh, to buy supplies for the actual um, Patriots out in, in, in Nevada. Yeah, I'm 40 miles away from there, but uh, I, I was going to donate some water to them. Another comment that I have, Brian, and I'm going to share this, I'm, I'm speaking from the hip-hop, and I'm shooting from the hip-hop right now. You have people calling the line, talking a lot of gibberish, a lot of people quoting things that are on Facebook, such as Blaine Cooper's page, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you have other people coming up and saying that they're tired and they're patriots, they're tired of the government. This is a line, we want to find out what's going on with Nevada. If you're in Nevada and you have printed information, then share it. If you don't, go drink some cappuccino or something. Yeah, I'm uh, in Nevada right now. What kind of information do you guys need? You're a lawyer for. Do we have activity in uh, Nellis Air Force Base? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. Can you back away from the phone, bro? You're coming in too loud. Back away from the phone, bro. You're coming in pretty loud. Uh, do we have activity in Nellis Air Force Base? There's, yep. there is National Guard, there's National Guard and their units getting ready to start mobilizing already. What are they mobilizing okay. for? Yes. To control, the situa to control the situation, sir. Probably reconnaissance. Brian, are you on? Permission to speak for Marina? We got birds, we got birds moving westbound. It's right now. We're about to be in Colorado. Continue the same right. trajectories. Uh, Missouri, 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 hang on a second. Uh, somebody else was trying to speak. Go ahead, sir. This is Reno, Nevada. Permission to, permission to speak? Uh, yeah, everybody else right now, except for, uh, sorry, except for the last three that we're talking, everybody else, I need you to press stop, star six right now. And we need this gentleman to go ahead and speak. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, Reno, Nevada? Go ahead. Yes, uh, I'm monitoring the, uh, I, I consistently monitor the, uh, the, all the military bases here, and there's no activity. Um, it's, it's, it's uncannily quiet, and um, I'd also like to uh, say that there is a rally tomorrow at the uh, um, Carson City Capitol, and uh, we're going to just try and and uh, make sure that the the governor of the state realizes that it's on his hands, and uh, that, that he's responsible to bring this thing to an end, so that our brothers and sisters down there in the south don't uh, don't don't get hurt. And uh, on both sides, absolutely on both sides, there's no blood to shed. They all have families, and we'd like to see this thing come to a peaceful end. Got it on my phone. Oh, 
Uh, I would agree. We all feel pretty much the same way, brother. Pennsylvania, permission to speak. Uh, Jeff, go ahead. 7702. Uh, my cousin, he's in the Air Force in Nevada as well. He hasn't, I asked him about it. He hasn't seen any information or heard anything about it. So, as he said, there's no activity. All right, we appreciate you chiming in with that, sir. Brian, this is Bill DiGirolamo in California. How you doing, Bill? Doing okay, man. How are you? I uh, feel like a one-legged man in a butt-chicken contest, and uh, right about now I wish I was a, uh, an octopus with just as many heads. I got messages coming in from all over the place that can hardly keep up, but uh, go ahead. Right. Well, I'm glad you're back. I've been on for about three hours listening a lot. Um, it seems that a lot of things are escalating. You had a retired high-ranking officer who confirmed some things about their operations manual. For these circumstances, uh, the gentleman from Tennessee, it seems that some of that stuff is happening, and people are getting a little bit irritable. Um, I suppose that what some of us can do or aren't actually able to be involved can... Uh, we know that the sheriff and the governor actually have the ability to literally step in and demand a stand down. Obviously, um, if those are, rules are abided and those orders are abided, we can be relieved of a lot of problems right now. If they're not, the governor does have the option to officially call and sanction the, the state militia. And that would free up the opportunity for the National Guardsmen who are home stated in Nevada, of course, in every state where a governor chooses to do this to support, can leave the federalized National Guard and step into their home states and assist the governor, the sheriffs, and the people if there's a problem. So I think we should be looking at some more peaceful resolution because we really do have options, and we have good people coming on ground tomorrow, and we should be talking a little bit about what's actually happening and how we can enable these other things these other things to occur because if it does come to force, that force is going to be our most enabling force. Hey, this is uh, Kyrie Dunn with the North Mississippi Militia. Hello. Uh, I just seen this on Facebook and I just, you know, I stopped everything and I got on here. Um... Never mind. I, I'm sorry. I thought it said military. But it says ratio or on route for Morgansville. I'm sorry. Hey, Brian, this is Drew Walker from Pittsburgh. I'm misreading stuff tonight. Just want to know if they got you that number for the tribal council. Is Brian back on this call? Yeah, I'm still here. Hey, this is Drew. I think he's he's on mine. Did you get the number for the uh, Indian Travel Council? I'm still monitoring the phone call. What do you need, buddy? Did you have the the number for the Indian Travel Council out there in Malapa, which is uh, 8 to 10 miles away, I believe? Uh, Diana, are you still on, honey? New York Coast Keepers Communications. Yeah, this is uh, Jeremiah. I was asking for permission to speak from Nevada. All right, we got two people ahead of you, sir. Uh, what was your question about the tribal land, the, the phone number to the office? Yeah, did you get the number? I called earlier, but I got cut off. Uh, we've got somebody that was boots on the ground that's actually heading there right now. Diana, if you can chime in, let us know where you're at, huh? Awesome. All right. That, that, uh, that that was my thing. They talk to the tribal chief and they'll give them the permission because nobody wants land taken. Yeah, that's exactly what we're uh, trying to attempt right now. Uh, if we can get her to ch- uh, chime in here in the next 10 minutes, that's what I would expect. Uh, she's actually heading to that office right now. Thank you, Brian. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, the, the last gentleman that's trying to speak, I'm about to mute out a bunch of people. I only want, I only need a couple people free right now. I need you to press star six on your phone and just wait patiently. Uh, I apologize. There's 500 people on this call right now, almost. So, 
Yeah. We need uh, to tone it down a little Sheriff, bit. And uh, press, press star six on your phone to mute out. And we'll get to you when we can, man. Uh, the Sheriff of Nevada is... is Nevada, go ahead. I want to hear from Nevada. Go ahead, Nevada. Listen, that's what I'm going to tell you. The Sheriff of Nevada is a DHS chairman committee, by the way. He's getting paid from DHS because he's on the chairman committee, and that's exactly why he ain't doing shit. This is Cat Daddy from Kentucky. That's what's up. Hey, how's it going? All right, that's great. I want to hear from Nevada right now. Anybody in Nevada that can chime in right now, that'd be great. We need we need to hear from the locals. That's what I want to speak. Hear. I'm from Nevada. <laughs> Uh, can you get some people to start a call tree up? We need some feedback. We, we heard uh, reports of caravans, people being pulled over, people are uh, uh, having their guns confiscated. We need some people locally to kind of help them right now. We got inbound Humvees in Nevada. Inbound Humvees. Permission to speak? Speak. Uh, 7907, you got the floor. Uh, we got 10 militiamen here from California. I'm not from Nevada. I'm sorry. Uh, but I'm, I got 10 militiamen here. We're armed to the teeth. I need coordinates to the ranch. We are planning on leaving tonight to uh, reach the backup. If anybody knows coordinates. You, you might have just chimed in. You might not have caught what we were saying earlier. The uh, ranchers are asking people at this time to come in peacefully as protesters. We prefer not to have people in BDUs armed to the teeth, so to speak. I'm highly recommending uh, you keep the missions in one vehicle and the other vehicles go ahead as peaceful protesters. Uh, we are also trying to get boots on the ground at the local uh, Native American reservation that may have offered uh, uh, a, uh, an area to rally, a rally point that's in federal protected lands. So we are recommending watch your maps. And I would recommend looking for the local tribal office that's 10 miles away from ground zero and starting there. I do not recommend getting close to ground zero right now uh, based on recent reports of gun confiscation. Uh, I would recommend using that as priority uh, one right now as a rally point. Thank you for the information. This is Colorado 2. Can you repeat the tribal land phone number again? Uh, yeah, hang on. i got to go ahead and jam a couple people out that uh, haven't pressed star six. Again, if you're not being talked to right now, I need you to press star six and mute out your phone. Uh, the tribal land phone number was 702-865-2790, and uh, apparently they may have offered to uh, give some refuge to some people that are headed out that way. I'm recommending going there first and uh, use that as a rally point. I just need everybody to be respectful as possible. Uh, just imagine you know, you inviting people to your house. How would you want them to treat you? Do the same thing. You better be respectful. Uh, with my Native American brothers out there that are offering uh, open arms and consolation. I highly recommend if you're heading out there bringing extra supplies. They are also recommending if you've got night vision capabilities, uh, that would help right now. I'm sure batteries are going to be needed. Uh, water sounds like it's going to be needed. Uh, bring an extra excess of food and water if possible. Next question. Say again, number please. All right, uh, we've got area code 702-865. 2790 is the tribal lands. They're not answering right now. Uh, if you can resource that number on Google and then find the tribal lands, I would definitely suggest that as a rally point right now. Brian? I would like uh, to ask a question. Uh, go ahead, sir, and then Barbara, you're next. Okay. Um, where are they uh, hitting up the checkpoints and confiscating people's guns? Is that in California or is that in Nevada? Where is that? Uh, what we've uh, only based on what we've heard, and this is only conjecture right now, man. So I, n none of this is absolutely 100% confirmed. Uh, but we did have uh, someone that chimed in that said that some people from uh, was it Oklahoma and uh, blah, 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 Texas uh, did have some people that were detained. Um, there were a couple reports of people that did say. Uh, that they were confiscating guns, but we obviously can't get in touch with those people if they're uh, still being under arrest, or obviously that can be conjecture. So as of right now, on a scale of 1 to 10, that's being true. I'm going to put that at about a 4 or 5 right now uh, until we get more time in on that. Okay. Brian, let's do you can ask you something real quick. Uh, hold on a second. Barbara, you are next. Then, brother, you're next I, in line, man. I got it. Hold on a second. Barbara, go ahead. 
just wanted a quick note in there. Gorilla Media Network is posting live right now feed from the ranch. I'm sorry, can you say that again? Gorilla Media Network is posting live view stream from the ranch right now. Way to go. How please. can we get a link to that, please? Yeah. It's GorillaMediaNetwork.com. Just go to Ustream. Oh, oh yeah. Willow? Yeah. Is it, is it Willow? Repeat that. It's Gorilla, Gorilla Fiber. Gorilla like Gorilla Warfare, not like the hairy beast. Um, <laughs> Gorilla Media Network. And, and I'm just going to add my two cents to a Gorilla Media Network. Uh, although they've got some good reporters there, they've got a certain agenda as well, so I would take to heart uh, exactly what's coming out of their mouth. As, as much as uh, I appreciate alternative media, um, right. you obviously saw how I had to put out a little fire just a moment ago uh, with the, uh, the mediator. I'm not putting them down. I just got to say, uh, you know, take everything with a grain of salt that's being reported there now. Um, you know, it, it's great to have uh, alternative sources of media there right now, but... Uh, you know, just keep a watchful eye on what's coming out of some people's mouths uh, that happen to be in that position right now. Well, you got a quick question for you. Yeah. I, I Hello. Hello. Yeah, uh, I, I, I had another gentleman that was in line before you, ma'am, if you don't mind hanging out. Go ahead, sir. Yeah, um, is there any representative from the, the NRA there right now? Uh, I don't believe so. I, there's uh, about 400 people on this call. I'm guessing at least 20 of them are NRA members. If you want to go ahead and uh, start sending some emails or that call tree like they have at their site, uh, get a hold of some people to uh, you know, bring in some representation. That, that that's definitely could be needed right now. Uh, they're pretty good at quelling uh, situations uh, in the past. Hopefully uh, they can help quell this situation. Uh, Ma'am, it was your turn. Go ahead. Hello? All right. Yeah, we know you're there. Uh, I need everybody else who's not signing in on the conversation right now to go ahead and press star six. We're peeking out at about 400. We can fit another 600 in here. Feel free to invite more people a, a, as you wish. Uh, we need some leaders of other groups, alternative media, other groups, other leaders, concerned citizens, you name it. Uh, we're looking for military active. We're looking for boots on the ground. Uh, we're looking for different varieties of authority figures that can chime in. Um, as well as any other media outlets that you can contact, get them on board. Uh, we could use another 600 people in this call. Uh, this is going to remain on for quite some time. Uh, I'd like to ask a question. Anybody who's on the ground in Nevada that wants to chime in? I got two questions. All right, we're getting some people that are not pressing star six to mute themselves out. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and manually mute you. I apologize. Nothing personal, but uh, you're causing feedback on my call, and uh, we're trying to get some stuff done. You can't follow instructions and press star six. Uh, that's your own fault. So sorry about that. Go ahead, sir. Ask for a question, isn't it? Excuse me? Uh, yeah. It's in Colorado, too. Have you had any sightings uh, over your area? The ETA is pretty much over. And uh, for, the, for the attorney... Uh, what did you say that you heard about uh, birds coming from Whiteman to Texas? To Texas? All right, I'm the attorney. What's up? Yeah, you said something about mm -hmm. birds from Whiteman going to Texas. Correct. Uh, where? How could you? Could you get anything to check out? Uh, birds from Whiteman going westbound towards Kansas. Hang on, Ellie. No, nothing. Nothing coming out of Kansas. There was nothing coming out of Kansas. No, I mean, no, birds going from Whiteman <clears throat> to Kansas. I, I, you know, you're coming in and out. I have a very bad connection with you. Okay. Becky, are you I on the line? Can you get this down on my email leaving, address? Uh, birds Somebody have been leaving Whiteman going westbound. What? In Eskimos. Lieutenant, Lieutenant Colonel, what? Roger. Um, in northern Nevada, they have different gun laws than all the rest of Nevada.
the city of Las Vegas is the only city that the city of Las Vegas is the only city that has a separate ordinance in the state of Nevada for carrying weapons. Uh, I have an idea. Go ahead. Sir. Please has, call has, has anybody tried calling Front Sight Firearms Training Institute and talking to it, uh, Ignatius Piazza, who's the, uh, the president who runs the place? They're in Nye County. They have some of the best, you know, marksmen around. And if you need a force uh, of people to, you know, just just be either protesters or extra security, I mean, they got several hundred people that they could they could muster, uh, and and they're right there in Nye County, uh, uh, in, Pro, in, in, in the city of Pahrump. What about Pahrump? Well, yeah. Uh, um, can you tell me if those federal agents are Russian? Uh, permission to speak, please, about the tribal land. Hello. Can you? Can you? Can I? I need a. I need a confirming report. Those are actually uh, foreign federal agents. Can somebody confirm that for me? Can you say that again? I need a confirming report that those federal agents are foreign troops or Russian. Uh, I've heard Middle Eastern, too. I've got to get a confirming report on that one. I, I'm from Freedom Fighter 2127 on YouTube, and I do 2127news.net. Yes, sir. Uh, we've got a couple uh, people that verify okay, that they look like they're Middle Eastern, and they're wearing name tags, generalized, uh, Johnson, Smith, et cetera. Um, doesn't even look like a few of them could even speak English. From what I've heard, some of them have literally just been hired or contracted. They are wearing Bureau of Land Management uniforms. Um, you know, they backed off somewhat out of 500 some odd cattle. 300 some odd have been uh, collected. They're down to less than uh, 200 now. Um, a lot of people are hoping that when all the cattle are gone that it's over, but uh, it really comes down to what does the rancher need us to do. You know, uh, we're on their land, we're on their property. Uh, we've got a rally point by a nearby protected federally uh, res uh, federally protected reservation that we're trying to use as a rally point and head people in that direction. We've got uh, boots on the ground that are heading there right now to uh, let us know that the doors are open and at least that we can get some people to back down uh, and, and go over to the Indian reservation. Uh, we cannot confirm nor deny that uh, people are actually having guns confiscated. We know of a few groups that have been arrested um, that were heading there from other states, Oklahoma and Texas mainly, um, and some of them have been let go. So if anybody still knows those guys that uh, did get arrested earlier today, feel free to have them call and chime in. Um, I know there's about 35, uh, 35 different militias just in Texas alone, and uh, I think a third of them have chimed in today and yesterday, and uh, we're trying to get other group leaders uh, on board uh, in, in any realm, so to speak, you know, uh, if the ACLU is on the call, feel free to chime in, you know. Uh, I need a confirmation. Welcome that. right now. We've got about 400 people, and we're hoping to fill this room as soon as possible just to try to get more attention, positive attention, to uh, try to help uh, quell the situation as best as possible. I need a confirmation on the tribal lands, if we're able to take our personal sidearms with us on the, on the uh, tribal lands. Federal, uh, uh, I would recommend keeping those enclosed for now. Uh, the number is 702-865-2790. I'm going to recommend you go ahead and Google that number, and that should take you right to the right place to try to get in contact with them electronically. Uh, as of right now, their numbers are not uh, up for running. Again, we've got somebody headed there that's going to be calling in hopefully soon and let us know what they're saying at the door. Can you repeat that one more time if the federal agents are there? I, just know, I want to clear. There was uh, people talking in it. Can you repeat that one more time about the federal agents? All right. Agent? I'm going to actually go ahead and meet out of – I'm sorry. Did you say you're a federal agent? No, no, no. no. Can you confirm that those are foreign federal agents? I'm sorry. I need that, I need that one more time. I've got a recording. I just want to hear it again. Uh, we can't officially do that. Someone did call in, and there is also a post of someone that is boots on the ground uh, under the name of uh, – Paul that we were talking about, uh, his website says that based on his perceptions, they did look oh, of uh, Middle Eastern descent, um, which would only, you know, kind of lead us to believe that, you know, with that possibility, yeah, based on what he said, but uh, we're trying to get a hold of more boots on the ground to go ahead and verify that. Uh, based on other conjecture that's been brought forth, uh, you know, other people uh, have announced that they felt 
that these people were just fresh, uh, freshly hired and weren't actually employees of the BLM at all, and uh, they were hired as uh, as this uh, situation arises, um, which obviously can add to some more conjecture. Uh, you know, a lot of us are very aware of uh, the foreigner training on our land uh, for certain situations such as this. So, you know, we're trying to push people, uh, you know, that are not there yet just to avoid super problems, possibly going to this rally point for now and uh, avoiding any further harassment if, if that is what exactly is occurring right now. Can you get the up very slow? I just wanted to confirm that, but thank you very much, and God bless you guys. Be safe. All right, man. I just got off the phone with somebody on the ground there. Can I speak? Permission to speak. Uh, if we could get that lady to go ahead and chime in, you said you got somebody with boots on the ground. Um, yeah, you know, it's only going to help he us. There. Hold on a second, ma'am. Hold on a second. It's only going to help us verify that if you could have that boots on the ground call into this call. Otherwise, right now, that's just conjecture. You could go ahead and speak your piece, but uh, we can't really fully confirm that until that person is on the phone. You know, somebody sees helicopters, great. <laughs> Let's hear some helicopters so we can verify some things, okay? Go ahead. No, he said, I, I spoke with him for about 20 minutes straight. I just hung up the phone with him. He said there's no action going on on the ground right now. Well, that's good. That's good to know. Uh, you know, as far as input right there, boots on the ground, that does help. Uh, you know, as far as the outer circle is what we're kind of focusing on right now. What we're hearing is uh, basically inbound people. There might be a little bit of harassment of people that are heading there. And uh, now that's kind of where we're at. You know, it's just good to get reports from the inside of the circle. But uh, as far as all routes in, that's what we need to know about. We're asking for locals to kind of do what they can do to kind of uh, perform some sort of recon for us. Um, let us know, hey, are they really pulling everybody over? Are they searching? Are they harassing protesters? Peaceful protesters, might we add, is what we're hoping is headed there. We know there's a lot of hotheads headed that way, but they need to stand down and get in contact with the chain of command that's already been uh, established on the scene. Roger that. I'm out. Commissioner C. Commissioner C. I'm Norris in New York, Communications Oath Keepers. Uh, Norris, Nor Norris, you got the floor for a couple minutes, bro. I'm trying to moderate this call the best I can, brother. We got 400 some odd people in here. Roger that. Um, do I have a second to talk to you real quick? Go ahead, shoot. I got to start. Uh, hang on one second, Morris. Everybody else, if you're not talking to me or Morris directly, I need you to press star six on your phone right now because you're causing a lot of feedback. We're getting echoes. I can hear people eating cereal. Some guy just burped over the phone. You know, show a little respect. This is a nationwide uh, peacekeeping operation for the uh, citizens and the uh, good people of the United States to try to uh, put our heads together and, and, and create some peaceful resolution on a dire situation that we all know we don't want to happen right now. Uh, go ahead with your question, sir. Yeah, this is Pete Morris. Uh, Norris has been from the uh, New York State Communications Officer for the Oath Keepers. I appreciate that. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm trying to do my damnest to get in communication via the uh, radios with folks down there. Uh, I need to know of a, a radio guy from the uh, Oath Keepers down in Nevada. If there was a, uh, a ham radio operator on here from Nevada, I need to speak with you. Uh, it's very important. We're trying to put a network for the nation together for communications. Uh, so uh, I need to give, if I could put that, hold that thought, sir. I need you to grab a pen. I got a pen right now. All right. Uh, we're looking at frequency on the repeater. It's 443.850. I repeat, 443.850. Roger. Do you have an HF frequency? I've actually got a call for you. Uh, KF5ZYG. This is 70 centimeters. Five. This is, this is ZYG. If you research that information based on what you should know, you'll be able to tune right in with that person who's 10 miles away, setting up exactly the same thing. Roger that. No HF frequency? Uh, it's, it's all I've got. I've got repeater 443.850, and you need to call out for a KF5 ZYG. Okay. Permission to speak. Go ahead, permission to speak. Good, sir. Hi, um, Colorado 2, you there? Colorado 2. 
This is Colorado 2, over. ETA is over. You got any sightings? Um, I have no reports no reports of anything up here. Uh, guys, quiet. Nice and quiet. All quiet. All clear. Okay. Let me three out. Colorado 2, you still there? Hello? Sorry, I got to meet a couple people out. Colorado 2, come back. Colorado 2 here. Uh, how's that call tree working, man? Come again. Hello? Uh, how's that call tree going? Call tree is uh, so quiet. There's nobody. We are, uh, we've got a couple people from Colorado online here listening in here. Um, everybody that I've contacted is, is uh, uh, just on a heightened state of alert. But uh, right now, I've contacted three people. And they're, they're contacting people about this phone call. Uh, there is a heightened uh, state of alert right now, and uh, we're, we're keeping our eyes peeled. That's All right, keep pulling people into the conversation, man. That's what we need right now. Uh, Missouri 1? Mm-hmm. Uh, do have, what do you have got on your, on your north-northwest? Uh, hold on. Missouri 1, you do you guys... have anybody on your north-northwest you're still in communication with? Um, I'm going to go after, uh, what do you mean, out in Nevada? Oh, I think here. Yeah, any, anything closer towards the border? I mean, we're trying to follow. Uh, here. I'll get a hold of it real quick. Give me a sec. I'll get back there in a couple minutes. All right. right. As of right now, for that mission, you are comms. Uh, you just got promoted, brother. That that That's all you right now, and I need you to keep the lines uh, on that chain. If you can call out for people that you need in that chain, go ahead. i give you permission to interrupt me. Uh, it's Colorado 2. Colorado 2, keep your ears on. Uh, What's the next chain in line? Order one. Permission to speak. Permission to grant it. Okay. Uh, just so to, you guys are looking for any uh, reports of uh, military activity, uh, just to let you know that there is a scheduled military exercise that's going to start on Fort Irwin, so helicopters are going to be coming from uh, other places throughout the nation. They're headed towards Fort Irwin for a scheduled military exercise, not not for you guys. <laughs> Yeah, right. That's what they said. No, we're just bullshitting. We're talking about Rich Homie Kwan. And when they pulled up, me and Sigur were about to say, like, oh, what the, we're like, bro, we said something like, oh, we're about to sit down. Like, I guess we've seen a bunch of cars pull up, like, well, what the fuck is going on? Hey, uh, forgive me for interrupting. I can't tell if you're talking to me or your girlfriend, bro. If you don't mind, uh, we can all hear you. There's uh, approximately 400 people on this call. Uh, if you're not saying something to us, I need you to press star six on your phone right now because uh, this is some pretty heavy-duty stuff. We're just trying to get down to the bottom of what's going on and what kind of resolution we can figure out. So uh, if, if you're not participating, I need you to press star six on your phone unless you have important data regarding this conversation. Uh, what again, is going on? Star six on your phone to mute out. The FAA has closed the, what they have closed the entire the area. To speak. The airspace is speak. closed. FAA website says the airspace is closed. Permission to speak. Yeah, yeah we've yeah. already got that. That's been confirmed. Uh, next guy in line. Order one. Go ahead. Uh, can I talk? I'm going to let you talk, sir. Wireless caller, 0304. The floor is yours. Um, I actually have a link to confirm on the FSA.gov website that the airspace is closed. All right, that's been verified four times, guys. So as far as FAA confirmed, uh, ground zero is closed. Let's uh, move on. Uh, Colorado, two, keep me posted. Uh, area code. Hold on. Uh, I've got two people chiming in right now. Uh, gentleman that just spoke up, say that again. 254, Border one. Uh, last name Rose. Last name Rose, Roger. Active duty Rose, Porter Irwin. Porter Irwin, there is a scheduled military exercise. Aircraft will be traveling across the nation to this scheduled military exercise. They are not coming for you. Uh, can you copy that? Yeah, we appreciate your feedback. Uh, can you verify some credentials, Matt, if you don't mind? Uh, yeah, it's uh, Active Duty Chief Warrant Officer 3 stationed out here. 
There's 11 rotations a year that go on out here. We're getting ready for another rotation. There, so for, uh, active duty Army comes from around the nation for these scheduled training exercises. They're not on the move for you. You may see five Blackhawks in formation traveling from, say, Fort Bliss, Texas, to Fort Irwin. They're not coming for you. They're coming for a rotation at NTC Fort Irwin. Matt, uh, you and I, Matt, you and I are only I can see your number right now. I appreciate you doing that. And, uh, if, if you don't mind, I'm, I'm kind of appointing people right now since you just chimed in. Uh, I'd like to actually put something on you. Uh, we need more contact with active duty military uh, of all branches. I, I know you've got a broad uh, network here. If you could uh, try to get some more guys to chime in. Uh, just to kind of help verify that. I don't know you personally, man. I'm just going with you by your full faith and credit and the oath that you took, and uh, I'm hoping that you're being honest with us right now. But no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm hey, trying to alleviate hey, your guys' hello, worries. Hello, oh, hey, break, break. I'm trying to alleviate your worries break, when break. they talk about I, I aircraft coming. All right, hold on a second. Man. The military was not going to attack you, and no one on the line would listen to me. And you know what? You guys get exactly what you deserve, and I'm glad it scared the shit out of you. Thank you. Trying to avoid the situation, sir. Go ahead, speak your mind. You've not got the floor. What is most of all? Colorado three over. That's it out. Uh, Colorado three hold. Uh, go ahead. Three three nine nine. Speak in your mind. Nine. Everybody else out. Colorado three. You got uh, clear skies. 